Okay, hi, this is Violin Purpura with another MMD tutorial for you guys. Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to use the Miku Miku Effect Size Changer. Okay, so right now I'm just going to load a PMD file, any model you want. I'll just use... where's Len? Here we go, here's Len. Len, say hi to the fangirls, Len. Len does not care. Um, okay, so we're going to go into the Miku Miku Effect dialog box and hit Effect Mapping. Okay, I'll just move that over here. Okay, now see, this is Len, and you can make him have an effect file. So, I'm going to load another PMD file. I'm going to go into here, and use effects. Okay, right here I have a folder called scale v003, and I have a scale control PMD file in there. That's going to control Len, making him big or tiny, or whatever you want. So, there you go. Now, the problem is, if you say you want to expand Len, this by itself does not work. This is the trick that I have found out. Okay, now on the scale control PMD, you have to click on that, hit set effect, and choose scale control.fx. These FX files are in the same folder as scale v003. Okay, so like that. And see, it pops up right next to the object. Now I'll select when, I'll hit set an effect, and I just choose scale.fx. Okay. Now, if you can resize your len. See, now it's tiny. Huge. Hey, len. Anyway. And now also, there are two bones on this PL. There's a short, squatty one that doesn't do anything. It's just the origin. This one right here. See? Move it around. Doesn't do nothing. Another one will be scale well. And what you do with this one is you can move it around and it resizes Len along the different axes. See? Now he's squishy. So, like, if you move the axes, you now rotating it doesn't do anything, so. You have to use move. So with X, you can make him go really f wide or really flat. So now he's Mario Len. Cute, huh? Or you can do it along the Y axis. He gets super tall or super squatty. And if you do it along the Z axis, he either gets super wide or he also gets flat. I should probably see what that looks like with the motion data. Oh, there you go. That's how to use the size changer. Let's see what it'll do anyway. I'm curious. Might help if I assign it to the right thing. I like do. Flat. Let's take a look. Poor little flat. And there you go. Scale L will reset. And now let's do Mario one, just because I'm really curious. And there you go. That's how to use the scale effects. 
and I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.